Good morning, it's your girl Josie Love Stuff, and I'm going to be reading from the Bible of the book of Exodus. And I'm going to, I had did chapter one, two, and three, so I'm going to continue at four. And um, I'll just kind of sum it up. And um, so Moses is born. First of all, any Egypt, any um, Israelite born was supposed to be um, taken out. I'll say that word. There's a different word in the Bible. And, um, but then Moses' mother had actually gave birth. She hit him for three months. And then when she couldn't hit him no more, they were supposed to be thrown into the Nile. Then it came to be that they were supposed to be tossed into the Nile. Any Israelite born, any male, the, the girls, they left alone. So what she did is put them in a basket. She set them on the Nile. And Pharaoh's um, servant, she actually seen the baby and she had pity. She opened a basket and had pity on him. And then she, um, then Pharaoh had said, um, she asked him, should I go get them, um, someone to nurse him? One of the, um, Hebrew women to nurse him. So Pharaoh actually paid, she wound up getting, um, his own mother. She was paid to actually nurse him. So the the um, servant knew that she was going back to the mom and she was actually paid to nurse him. Then when Moses grows up, he sees the burning bush. God comes to him. Actually, he winds up, he winds up taking out an Egyptian and um, somebody knows that's in chapter two. Um, he, he winds up fleeing for 40 years because they had known what he had did. And then after 40 years, God appears. He had a son, Midian. I'm pretty sure that's his name. Um, I'm pretty sure his son's name's Midian. Um, or no, Gershom. I'm sorry. Gershom. It was his son. And then, um, so Moses in the burning bush. So God um, appears to Moses in the burning bush. And he tells him that he's going to deliver him out of... Um, the Israelites from Egypt. Okay, so now four. So now this is when he's actually going to be leaving. All right, so signs for Moses. So Moses answered, what if they do not believe me or listen to me and say, the Lord, the Lord did not appear to you. Then the Lord said to him, what is it that is in your hand? A staff, he replied. The Lord said, throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground. It became a snake and he ran from it. Then the Lord said to him, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. So Moses reached out and took hold of the snake and it turned it back into a staff in his hand. This, said the Lord, is so that they may believe that the Lord of the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has appeared to you. Then the Lord said, put your hand inside your cloak. So Moses put his hand into his cloak and when he took it out, his skin was leprous that had become as white as snow. Now put it back in your cloak, he said. So Moses put his hand back in his cloak, and when he took it out, it was restored like the rest of his flesh. Then the Lord said, If they do not believe you or pay attention to the first sign, they may believe the second, but if they do not believe these two signs or listen to you, take some water from the Nile and pour it on dry ground. The water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. Moses said to the Lord, Pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you have spoken your servant. I am slow in speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, Who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go. I will help you speak and will teach you what to say. See, God's not asking him. He's telling him. But Moses said, Pardon your servant, Lord, please send someone else. So then the Lord's anger burned against Moses, and he said, What about your brother, Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. He is already on his way to meet you, and he will be glad to see you. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to do. He will speak to the people for you, and it will be as if you were... You were if he were your mouth and as if you were God to him, but take this staff in your hands to so perform the signs with it. 
So then Moses returns to Egypt. So he's going to the Israelites. He wants to tell them what he's there to do. Moses returned to Egypt. Then Moses went back to Jethro, his father-in-law, and said to him, Let me return to my own people in Egypt and see if they are still alive. Jethro said, Go, and I wish you well. Now the Lord had, appeared, had said to Moses and Midian, Go back to Egypt, for all those who wanted to kill you are dead. Because he had killed an Egyptian, so they wanted to kill him, but they're all dead now. So Moses took his wife and sons, put them on a donkey, and started back to Egypt. And he took the staff of God in his hand. The Lord said to Moses, When you return,